But this English team, they'll be desperate to stop the Welsh from having a party. Danny Kerr, Kerr for the line, and England strike again. We've got to go out there and perform real tempo in what we do, real accuracy, real passion. With the centre, England are away. Toby Flood comes away, Matthew Tate. Interception by England, Shane Williamson. And down, but it's going to be a second try for James Haskell. And England could have sealed the game. Coming up this week, we head inside the camp with George Shooter as England measure up to the task ahead. And Dylan Hartley and Chris Ashton answer your questions. So, welcome back to O2 Inside Line as O2 and the RFU take you inside the England camp. The museum here in Twickenham houses one of the most impressive memorabilia collections anywhere in world rugby. But England still haven't won an RBS Six Nations Championship trophy for eight years. I'm working. <laughs> Martin, I'm Johnson, working. <laughs> Martin Johnson says that finally, Austin, the squad picks itself, but surely it's about getting our hands on some silverware. <laughs> All right, I'll take a break then. Yeah, definitely, I think England need to win this year. Eight years not winning the Six Nations, it's too long. and. Uh, England have got a good squad now, and I think we've got a good chance. But first up, it's Wales, one that everyone's been talking about. But Wales know that England haven't won in their last three visits. How important is it for England to get off to such a good start? Well, it's vital to get off to a big start, and uh, there's been plenty of banter before the game. Wales have lost their two first-choice props in Jones and Jenkins, but England have lost three really influential players. We've lost our captain, Lewis Moody, Courtney Laws, and for me, Crofty has been an absolute standout. So uh, it's going to be difficult. What does it mean, though, to have an RBS Six Nations Championship in the same year as a World Cup? Well, it's a chance to test your players in a pressurised situation and, uh, and to gain some momentum as a squad. We saw England gain it a little bit in the autumn, particularly against Australia. Uh, and now they'll, they'll want to build upon that. Now, if they can have a great Six Nations, it will certainly build towards the World Cup. Well, one thing's for sure, England will be looking good as they head to Cardiff this Friday night. Stuff that's actually been in, in France than I've ever been over here. Food as well? Yeah, good food, yeah. Well, food's better in France. So you're looking after what you were Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Well, there's always a little bit of a manoeuvre. Sorry, Courtney. Oh, Is that everything in France is made out of bread, so you just have to carbs. yeah, you just have to swerve, swerve the carbs. It's very difficult when you're uh, trying to get suits for, for, for rubber players or for, for the bigger gentlemen. You, know, you normally end up having shoulders fit, but the rest of it billows out. But as you can see, they've managed to, to tailor it very nicely to my body, and yeah, it feels very comfortable. How big time doesn't even do those shit. <laughs> 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 I have people for these things, you know. No cameras, man, no cameras. Some guys can make anything look good, can't they? Anyway, Tweeps, it's time to ask a couple of twerps your Twitter questions. Abby's headed off to Peniel Park to see Chris Ashton and Dylan Hartley. Guys, so we're at Penny Hill Park. We've got a little bit of an informal setting. How are you feeling about the RBS Six Nations starting in Cardiff at the Millennium Stadium? <laughs> That's on you, mate. Oh, oh, Chris. Go on, it's going on. Do, do um, silly That's obvious, isn't it? First game, big outing. Yeah. Away from home, Millennium Stadium. It's, uh, it's a lovely place to go play. Electric. 
Okay, now there's been loads of talk about the two of you looking quite similar. I don't think you're looking as similar as you did in the Autumn Internationals. Maybe it is the slight yeah. chop of the booth. Yeah, I had an accident yesterday with some scissors, so that's what that is. You did do it yourself. <laughs> no, I reckon I'd done a better job if I had. Question from a Twitter follower. Who is the better looking twin? He's a fat, fatter version of me. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have a comeback. Has a, this is actually another Twitter follow. Has um, anyone ever mistaken you for the wrong person, a fan, and you've gone along with it? All the time. Me, you've yeah. gone along with it though. All the time. Do you? I've signed things on behalf of him before. <laughs> Shut up, you I've been picking up my dry cleaning before, and even though my name's written down, like Dylan Hartley picking up my. Dry, oh, hey Chris, and it's. No. Yeah, it's. Just go with it though. Which was his favourite department to work in when he was assistant paint stirrer in home base in Wigan? <laughs> Is that well, right? Did you work at home base? No. So I had these bright green, like, home base trousers. From that on, we just said I worked at home base. That was it. <laughs> One of the questions is who's the better out of the two of you with, um, with the ladies? Well, he's a fat version of me. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those like fat guys. All of this hype and this massive talk, has it inspired you more to go out guns blazing and prove people wrong? I wouldn't say it's inspirational talk from, from Warren. I'd say it's, uh, it's just prepared me, I think, 10 days warning of what, what's to come and uh, if anything, I've prepared as well as I can. He's been locked in his room for a week. This yeah. is the first time I've seen him in a week. Got like newspaper clippings all posted around my room <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> Got to talk about that, that try against Australia. Best moment in your career so far? That try is like made him. He doesn't have to do anything else now. What? That's that ridiculous. Right? No, that isn't right. Did he get like voted the best try? <laughs> yeah, it did. I don't know. Right, well, thank you. Um, didn't thank both of you. Let's hope it um, get off to a brilliant start. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Abby. If you want to ask a question to an England player, tweet me at I am Austin Healy and start your tweet with hash O2 inside line. So. Twickenham's closed this weekend. We're on the road to Cardiff. Can England get it right on a Friday night? I certainly hope so. Thanks for watching O2 Inside Line. We'll see you next time.